subscribe button and leave a comment down below and like this video. Every, all y'all support means the world to me and it also helps me make more videos. So, so with no further ado, thank you for tuning in. Let's get straight to the video. Second day and right now we are heading to Helen, which is also known as a historical town. If you've never heard of Helen, it's like an awesome place. They got like mountains and a lot of different places that you can go to observe like rivers. So hopefully we might be able to catch some fish and if I can get it on film, that would be great. So thank y'all for tuning in. Uh, right now, as soon as we get there, I'm going to touch base and see if I can't run into my daughter. And uh, let's get straight to it. So I'll see y'all whenever I get there. I want to show you this. Look how many people are out here. Like This is like a really cool town. Like I lived here for about a year one time. I was actually in a drug rehab program. I've been sober for... A little over two years, you know, so I feel like making good videos, I got to put a little bit of personal stuff, you know, because I want to help people, you know, I want to, I want people to understand that I don't want drugs to keep you from being who you really want to be. Put some passion in the things that you love doing, you know, and I believe that you will get somewhere. I got a lovely daughter in the back. She means the world to me. My girlfriend means the world to me. I got, you know, camper and I went from, you know, doing drugs to having nothing, bumming money on the streets to, you know, being out here and being somewhat sophisticated whatever i don't even know what that word means but it sounds good i feel good today's an awesome day another beautiful day in helen and again thank you guys for tuning in and i'll get right back with you as soon as we can get to the mountains Look, that's a cool little if you like motorcycles that's pretty cool show, show people the horse people love horses from the people that's never seen a horse this is like a regular thing in hell i like you can't go to helen without seeing horses because like, they always got them. that's just something they always got so, if you like, you know, uh, the little German tale called Helen, then make sure you uh, hit that like button and subscribe. Yeah, it is so, it is so beautiful. I know it's hard for y'all to hear me, the wind. So I need to uh, get the habit of getting closer to the camera so you can hear me. But it is really beautiful out here. Um, for those of y'all that's not able to get out and enjoy stuff like this, you know, just watch my videos and hopefully you can kind of feel what I'm feeling through this video. But it is a remarkable feeling. Like, but yeah, so later on in the video, uh, I want to take y'all somewhere else as well. And uh, later on, I'm going to have to take her back to her house. <laughs> Tell me how you feel. Tell me how you feel, baby. <laughs> but yeah, y'all tune in for that. I also want to demonstrate how to make a fire. It's been raining, but it just got done raining. So that's why it's so beautiful out here. But this whole mountain actually turns red. It literally turns red during the sunrise. I mean, a sunset. So whenever the sun goes down, I don't know if we'll come back out here or not. I don't know. Uh, but it'd be cool if we can get a video of the, the mountain turning red. So anyhow, I'll see y'all in just a few minutes. Alright guys, so we're back out here. Uh, we had taken Ava home, so uh, this look at our layout. This is what we got. Um, we went by Walmart. 30 bucks, guys. You know, we got some chips. We got a little ketchup because we got some hot dogs in here, too. You already know. You can't go camping without having hot dogs. I would have brought some s'mores, but I had uh, really a second guess there. Oh, don't want to show that. <laughs> Alright, so we got some lights so whenever it does get dark and we want to keep vlogging, we got two of these su suckers. Oh, alright. I didn't bring my knife, but I went and bought me a little bit of a uh, tactical knife. It gets the job done in case I want to eat some uh, hot dogs. I can carve a stick so I can go ahead and carve it too. And what else do I got in here? Let's take a look. Got some hot dogs. I've already mentioned those. So I got those. I don't know about y'all, but these are my favorite. Playing behind the camera like these. But I don't really like those. I used to eat these as a kid, but I kind of grown more to these now. So then I got us a tent. Got us a tent here. And a bag, tactical bags. And uh, so we're going to get it all set it up. All right, guys, we are going to attempt to. Uh, figure this thing out. I think it's one of those little, you know, look at that. Look at there. That is one hell of a tent right here. <laughs>
All right, guys, I'm going to quickly demonstrate how to tie a couple knots for tree climbing and for any, any other things like hauling stuff. It's going to be very quick. If you want to see more videos of me tying knots, drop a comment down below and let me know. And I'll definitely, definitely make a video of making knots. So I'm going to quickly demonstrate the bowlings. All right, so this is the bowlings. It's real tight. That can pull a lot of weight. That, that, that's just graded uh, to pull my own weight. So what if I want to you know make it tight this is this is for like you know say if i'm going to uh tie into the top of the tree you know i get this end of the rope twist it up actually let me put it on the side Now to hold my weight, as you can see, now to hold my weight. I can also demonstrate some different uh, rope tying of repelling. So if you guys want to learn how to repel and stuff and you've never done it before, I would suggest being around an adult if you don't have an adult with you. But if you are an adult, then by all means, never try to repel off something real high without having someone there to call 911 because I've made that mistake and I about died in the tree several times. almost got decapitated. So... This right here is for hauling trucks. If I'm pulling a lot of weight, I double the rope up. Right, and I put, and that's where I'm pulling my slack. Got a lot of slack. Put both ropes behind the tree. This is called a bowing on a bike. So if I'm going to pull this whole tree down, I'm probably going to do a bone on the bite and hook it up to a bobcat. I basically do the same thing on the other side. Double it up and basically just do the same thing, you know what I'm saying? Really easy. But anyhow, I'm going to get on with the video. We had to make that short because this video is getting pretty long. I know you guys are, could be getting burnt out. So uh, I can definitely dedicate a video and teaching you guys how to do knots my way, the way that I've learned and the way that I've uh, been doing it for the past five years. And I can also demonstrate common trees and take them down. So whatever you guys want to see, this is y'all's game. Uh, I work for y'all. I, I, I want to entertain you guys. I want to show you some things that I know. And it's just what I enjoy doing. Uh, so yeah, just comment down below. And uh, you're going to get on to the rest of this video. Okay. So I'm about to go get some wood. Because uh, what's, what's camping without having wood? This isn't a survival video for some of you that think that this is a survival video. But no, this is just camping. This is just... You know, having some fun out here and enjoying life. Uh, so right now we're just gonna go grab some wood, and uh, I'm gonna grab some big wood and some small wood and some stuff that will catch on fire, and we're gonna have us a fire. So. Guys, so I got a lot of different wood. I mean, it's not a lot, but some you know, got some small stuff, some medium stuff, and some larger stuff over there. Um, and then I got a little pile over here. So I did bring a flashlight. I mean, not a flashlight, <laughs> but a lighter. <laughs> Got it, so I'm struggling with the uh, fire starter. Because it is kind of wet. But, I was able to let this dry out a little bit. And stack it on top of each other so it's able to catch a lot easier. Yeah, I'm just going to start throwing a lot of this little stuff right here on top of it so I can get those embers nice and hot. I may save one of these sticks for hot dogs. I don't know, that looks like a good hot dog stick. Yeah, it does. you guys a little hack since it is wet outside I think it would be a good demonstration if you ever got some wet wood and you just saw happen to be able to get some dry wood enough to get the fire going you can set your wet wood 
beside the hot and the, the hot flame and it'll actually dry out the hot wood so whenever that burns out i can throw that on top and it won't, you won't hear it nearly as much pop 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 like you hear right now you guys can hear it which i guess it wasn't as wet as i thought it was but you can visually see that's kind of wet i'm assuming that's not wet so i'm just going to throw that on top But the way I look at them, if it's skinny and it's wet, you know, it doesn't have too much circumference to go by. So, throw it on top. But really, that really only matters whenever it's like super wet, though. I think we'll be good for the day. It did rain, but it wasn't that bad. A lot of ants. See how much faster that was, just having the wood. Handy dandy wood. There you go, that's one beautiful fire right there. I think it's time to roast some hot dogs. These hot dogs are looking good. I don't know about y'all, but I'm hungry and watching these hot dogs cook is making me even more hungry. So, I'll just give you guys an idea. We are out here in the boondocks, hell in Georgia. Yay, yay. <laughs> it's already roasting. I know, you were. Right on me. Yeah. I don't want to get it too close because I don't want it. I don't like charcoal. I've already got charcoal. I don't want my And I don't want to like burn my stick, so. I got to pay. I'm going to mark the territory later, make sure them bears don't come out here and get us. Yee yee. Like a white hair on a biscuit with two red eyes and cotton mouth out here cooking some hot dogs on a hot summer day. Well, it ain't summer yet, but it's about to get there. Look at that proper technique. Rotating the wiener. <laughs> and then you got her technique. Just stick it in the fire. It ain't gonna hurt. <laughs> Alright, so, so guys, she likes charcoal hot dogs, and I don't like charcoal hot dogs, so... I want to know what you guys prefer. Do you, do you guys like charcoal, or do you like the way that I'm cooking it? I mean, it, to me, this is like proper technique. Like I'm observing it, being a little bit more patient because I know if I'm gonna be more patient, then I ain't gonna my hot dog ain't gonna look like that. Have have a little hot dog war. <laughs> touch <the> wieners. <laughs> we just touch wieners. <laughs> Don't touch my wiener like that. She touched my wiener. Look at them hot embers in there. I could probably start sticking it up on in there. Oh, man. Oh, man. I almost burnt the camera, too. Yeah, I'm so serious. I'm about to have to go mark my territory. Probably right down yonder. But it's out of the river. Take it over. We out here in the backwoods. I think my hot dog is about done cooking. Either that or I'm about to be cooking with it. I think mine's done cooking. Yours is beyond, beyond done. Yours, yours was done in the first 10 seconds. You literally stuck your wiener in the fire. This is proper technique, guys. I don't care what y'all say. This is, this is how I like my hot dog. Mine's done already, so I'm fixing to eat. Well... Good things come to those who wait. This is proper technique. I'm getting it good too. 
And that is a properly cooked hamburger. I mean, hot dog. I was going to say, we ain't having hamburgers. I mean, just look at that hamburger. <laughs> that, that, <laughs> I mean, just look at that hamburger. That is... <laughs> hold on. That is one, oh. that is one sexy hamburger. Oh. 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 Cooking some wieners. Very hot. Alright guys, so I'm about to eat this wiener. We're about to chow down and uh, might be going to bed here in just a minute, maybe not. It might not look dark to you guys on camera, but it's actually a lot more dark, dark in person. Isn't that right? <laughs> Anyhow, I'll get right back to you guys. And uh, yeah, we want to let you know how this experience goes. I'm probably about to call tonight and um, catch up with y'all in the morning, but I don't know how good y'all can see. But the fire did go out. I didn't get enough wood, but I kind of already knew that. It's not really that cold out here. And uh, yeah, we're not really too far away from civilization. So, but we did make it. And uh, that's the tent. And uh, I will see you guys in the morning. Alright, so it's about 6.40 in the morning. And last night got super duper cold. It's still a little bit dark out here. Um, I'm having to use the other camera because the other camera has the memory full. So I might have to clear some stuff on it. But not going to lie guys, that night really sucked <laughs> did not expect it getting cold fire is completely out and that was just miserable but if you enjoyed this video thank you for tuning in make sure you subscribe hit that like button and comment and uh, let me know what you guys think and uh, I'm gonna go uh, get warm now but it is nice out as you can see the river still flowing and the wind still blowing so if you haven't already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and uh, give me a like. And uh, make sure you uh, comment down below and let me know what you think of these videos. Uh, it is the next day. Last night got really cold. Got my girlfriend over there. She just got up. I ended up waking up like three times, but I didn't want to wake her up making videos. But... And it was just too cold. I did not want to move. <laughs> who, know, who knew it was going to get that cold tonight? I mean, nobody knew it was going to get that cold, right? <laughs> maybe maybe the people that actually looked on the weather channel could see how cold it was going to get. But our fire ended up going out. That's a big surprise. Not a big surprise because I didn't really get a whole bunch of wood. Just enough to have a little bit of a weenie war. And uh, mistake hot dogs for hamburgers. Uh, fun times but yeah guys like I said thank you for tuning in if you haven't already go ahead and hit the subscribe button uh, give me a like and comment down below what you want to see next thank you guys for tuning in and I'll catch you next time peace peace